Well, tonight, surviving what's become a common accident that leads to drowning. People trapped in their sinking cars after running into lakes, creeks, and retention ponds. What police say that you must know to get out alive. Our story right now from RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet. All right. This is something that you'd never try, intentionally driving into a body of water. But that's what these two men are about to do. While the state trooper driving the van unbuckles his seatbelt and quickly escapes out of the driver's window, Dr. Gordon Giesbrick, an expert on surviving submerged vehicles, remains testing the electric windows to see how long they function in the rapidly rising water. Within 90 seconds of impact, the vehicle is underwater. That happened to Mary Kay Kidwell's 17-year-old grandson who accidentally drove into an Indiana lake. His friend, who was a passenger in the car, he managed to get him out the passenger door, but by opening that door, the car flooded and um, Trey went down with the car. It's a sadly familiar tragedy. According to the National Drowning Prevention Alliance, 10% of drownings happen in vehicles. That's 350 to 400 people each year in the U.S. and Canada. Marion County alone has close to 5,000 bodies of water. And often this is where drownings happen, in retention ponds. A driver, perhaps in slippery weather, slides off the road and ends up in 8 to 20 feet of water. These were his senior pictures. In April, 22-year-old Alex Cottom of Noblesville drowned when his SUV lost control and plunged into a Westfield retention pond. Experts say that these accidents are survivable. So you basically have one minute to get yourself and any occupants out of that car. So the first thing that you want to do is take your seatbelt off. The second thing you want to do is open your window. Remember, that's what the trooper driving the van did. But if there are children in your car, unbuckle them from oldest to youngest and everyone escape through the window. Experts also recommend every car have a tool to break a window, as you see in this demonstration. I have it in my car and I advocate it for everyone to have some kind of uh, commercial window breaking tool in the car that's visible and reachable. Survival techniques that can save lives in the event of the unthinkable with precious moments before a car and its occupants are underwater. Chris Prophet, RTV6.